So after that trip, um, I came back to, uh, to Sydney and wasn't in the best of health. And I went to see my CF clinic out at Westmead and they said, things have changed for you. If you want to have any sort of a lifestyle over the next two to three years, you're gonna need a transplant, lungs and liver at the same time. Um, so I remember having a very direct conversation um, with mum and with dad. The date rolls around, I said, if you think that there's any way I'm not gonna do everything in my power to stay on this rock for longer, you're insane. Hi, I'm Curtis Sheehan, I'm 29 and I have cystic fibrosis. It's the most common recessive genetic illness affecting youth of the globe. In order to be affected by it, two parents need to both carry the, the gene, the CFTR. If they have kids, there's then a one in four or 25% chance of um, the kids being affected by CF. Roughly one in 25 Australians are carriers. Each day, depending on the severity of your um, disease, you get mucus building up in the lungs, you get mucus building up in the pancreas, possibly the liver, um, and just very poor digestion. So the whole aim of the game is to do chest physiotherapy to clear out as much of the mucus as possible. And then potentially, if you're sick or not sick, to treat that with um, antibiotics. Whilst you're treating it, whilst you're trying to fight it, um, the lungs progressively get worse uh, over time and you either potentially qualify for a lung transplant like I did or you choose not to and eventually um, it will shorten your life. Back in 2012 when the movie The Avengers came out, I was obsessed with it, like obsessed. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a name for a team called the CF Avengers. That just rolls off the tongue, I love that. I spoke to one of my uh, best friends in the US who also has CF and they said, hey, I've got this idea for a team, like an international team. What do you think? And then she goes, yeah, that sounds really cool. I said, but I need, I need characters. She goes, I'll be a character. Okay, who do you want to be? Iron Man, but it's a guy. I said, okay, let's make it Iron Woman. She goes, perfect. I've slowly been inducting really sort of who I think are key people within the CF community, over the years, been slowly adding. So there's, I think we're 25 now, all up, which is huge. We represent hope. Please send your thoughts and wishes to Andy, who is currently in ICU. And yeah. I don't know if it's, I'm not sure if it's actually properly hit me yet. I think I'm still in a little bit of denial. Um, I lost one of my closest friends uh, a little over a month ago. Um, she was very sick uh, in ICU. And I remember the morning that her fiance called me and said, um, she's bad as in the doctors don't think that she's gonna make it to the end of the week or the day. Sure, most of us can handle a couple of weeks in hospital here and there, um, a few extra hours a day spent on doing treatments or trying to feel better. But the moment one of us loses the, the battle uh, permanently, it, it gets really difficult really quickly. My transplant was 18 months ago. Um, in March of 2017. Um, any man, woman or child can be a, an organ donor. Best way to do that is to have a conversation with your next of kin. They have the final say above any means. You go onto the organ donation website and you literally, it takes less than two minutes. You click on register, you fill out which organs you'd like to donate, yes, they send you a confirmation out in the mail. I think you either tick it or send it off. And they actually send you an organ, don't, organ donation registry card.
essentially feel like I'm 18 again. Although when I was 18, I don't think I felt like an 18 year old should have felt. Um, lots and lots of uh, energy, too much energy almost. Um, lots of ability, uh, just really, really good all the time. Like really good. <laughs>